everyone, it's Nona Grace. I was waiting for Jim to come into the house, but he's taking a long time to come in, so I decided I better just do my video by myself and um, get it up for you so that you can see it. Well, today was a really busy day. My day started out where I um, actually went to the went to town. I had to go get chicken food. I wrote down what I did because I get distracted. I had to go buy chicken food and dog food, so I spent money today. And while I was out, I bought two carpets to put over to Emily's house because she's now living in what our little house that we have. Um, she's moved out of the apartment house, the big one that I'm going to sell. She has moved out of that one and she's now in the little one and it needed, she needed a couple of little carpets. So I went to Ollie's and Ollie has some really cheap carpets. These carpets that I got would have been like $8 at Walmart where it was $3.99 and $1.99. So they were pretty darn cheap. One of them says go on fishing. And so that was the one that was a dollar ninety nine, which is okay because she's going to put that one behind the door, and when she brings the shovel in from shoveling, if there's any moisture on it, it'll go just into the carpet. So that's what that was for. Then I broke down boxes while I was there because she had a lot of boxes from when she was moving, and I thought, you know, this looks messy. If I just break down the boxes and put them off to one side, it will be a lot neater looking, which it was. Her dog was not in its carrier, so I said, Ma uh, Maya, in your house, and she went into her house just like magic. She apparently likes her little house, and so then she laid down on her little pillow, and she looks like a little princess in her little house. She's a cute little, she's a chihuahua too, and she's a good little dog. Okay, after I broke down the boxes, I told, she has an Alexa, and I said, Alexa, play music. And Alexa says that she has, oh, she says, maybe you'll like, you'll enjoy this. And she says whatever it was that she was said. And then she starts the music and it was a little bit too loud. And so I said, Alexa, quieter. And it went down just a little bit and then it was still too loud, I felt. So I said, Alexa, quieter. And it, and it went quieter. It's kind of neat having the Alexa, but... It was like I was talking to somebody, but nobody was there. It's like when I talk to the camera, nobody's here but me and the dog. The dog's in his little house. Okay, after that, then I, um, what did I do? Oh, I've been crocheting all day when I was home. I would, I answered a few of my comments, and then I would come into the kitchen because I want to listen to a video, and I Chromecast it from the computer to the television and, and my crocheting is in the kitchen and my TV is in the living room where I can see it from the kitchen and then I get myself a cup of coffee and I have that while I'm listening and I crochet while I'm listening. I, I like the videos that people talk in them when they're just doing stuff and I have to watch I find it more difficult. I like the talking ones. I love hearing talking. So as long as you're doing something just talk so that I can listen. And then you can still work on whatever you're working on, but you can say what you're doing. If you're stirring the pot, you can say, I'm stirring the pot, I'm adding two eggs, or I'm, or if you're, that's if you're doing a cooking show. And if you're working on, say you're working on the motorcycle, I'm removing the seat, and I'm going to get the tools out, and I'm going to start working on the motorcycle, or, or whatever you're working on, lawnmower, or I don't know, whatever you're working on. Okay, and I had to chase the rooster off of, I have a, a, I think it's six or seven, it must be seven foot. I can't touch the, I can't touch it. If I raise my arm up, did you know, this, um, I have to tell you, did you know that when you outstretch your arms, that's exactly how tall you are? And when you reach up, that's how tall you are? You're, you're, um, you're got like another like I'm five feet and so then I would add this and it would be another two and a half feet because two and a half and two and a half would make five feet but if I go out this way and you measure my fingertip to fingertip I'm five feet this way that's something and so I can't reach the top of the panel when I raise my hand so it's probably six maybe seven foot tall I don't know how tall it is but the rooster was up on top of it and so was um, what I call the um, 
forgot what I call I call her silver silver fox I think I call her silver fox sometimes I say silver girl silver lady I call her different things but the rooster I decided he's not very pretty so I named him pretty boy <laughs> not a, not a good name for a this rooster is not pretty it's I think it it looks like it would have been a leghorn kind of rooster it's just white with a little black and in the tail it's not a pretty color he's not a pretty rooster but he was the size that I wanted, so that's why he got to stay. Okay, then after I chased the rooster and the hen off of the dog panel, I listened to some more videos. Then I boiled some eggs, because Jim likes to take eggs to, to work with him. It takes a couple eggs. That's his lunch. He likes to, to if in case he gets a little hungry or whatever, I think he just eats the eggs. And um, he was outside shoveling off the trailer because we want to move Emily's things from her apartment house, like her bed and the platform rocker and a dresser and her dining room table and her chairs. That's all we have left to move over there and her microwave. So those can go onto that trailer. He had to shovel the snow off because it was covered with snow. And then I want to tell you what I ate. Now, if you are doing keto, this is this is fabulous. It tasted really good. And I I used regular flour. You could you're supposed to use the almond flour or coconut flour, but I used regular flour just because I didn't want to get the other out. But what I did is I used one teaspoon. It's just a teaspoon, a level teaspoon of flour in a beaten egg and I beat it up and then I pour it in with uh, about a um, one tablespoon of cream or half and half and I whisk that together and then I put it in my waffle iron and I cook it and when it's done I scramble up another egg in the frying pan and I when I take the waffle out and put it right on top of the egg that's frying and that's my like my egg on bread and then I put mayonnaise on that or and then I I wanted something more so I made myself another egg waffle where I did the same thing I used one teaspoon of flour and an egg and a tablespoon of the half and half and I made um, put cheese on that one I put a piece of, of um, cheese in the and I buttered the waffle when it came off the iron I buttered it and then I added um, mustard and cheese and put it in the frying pan and made like a a grilled cheese sandwich and that was really good too so if you want to try something with keto and this is just with eggs and just a little bit of flour just a tiny bit hardly enough to say so you level your teaspoon off of the measuring spoon and it's really not a lot of flour I put the flour in there because it gives it just that much bite to the tooth um, otherwise it it feels like you're just eating egg where this way you feel like you're eating something more and so that's what I did besides shop I guess I went through my whole day I started out shopping and ended up eating eggs and now I'm talking to you and Jim just came in so I will let him in the house as I think he's in the porch and it's cold in the porch so I will see you all tomorrow have a great day bye